Hi everyone, this is AJ and today I would like to talk about data migration. When you are moving from an old system to a new system and unless you'll be throwing out all that old data to start with a clean slate on the new system, right? Uh, you will then need to plan on data migration. Right? So uh, in this video, I will share some quick points that you will need to consider Okay, uh, in your project in order to be prepared and I've also uh, put some uh, main points here right on the screen uh, before I go to that let me just uh, uh, share with you on, on some uh, uh, beginning points okay, okay so number one uh, you will really need to have a serious discussion okay, about data migration early on in the project while you're gathering the user requirements a big mistake in uh, some projects is that uh, the project manager or the team uh, will have the discussion too late okay, in the project when major components have already been developed, tested and implemented. Since data migration would affect uh, the database structure or schema, okay, uh, if this happens, some rework might need to be done okay, in that scenario. So that would be quite wasteful. right? So uh, please do not do that in your project. Uh, number two, never underestimate the scope of work involved in data migration. This is the reason why you need to have that discussion early on in the project, okay? Because uh, the the scope is actually quite extensive, right? And there are a lot of activities to be done. Uh, some might even categorize data migration as, in fact, a project all in itself. All right. So uh, lots of nitty gritty will be involved, okay? such as testing the transfer from the old system to the new system, testing the business rules on a new system based on the transfer data, how new requirements would require new features to be built on top of the migrated data, you know, and so on. Okay, there are a lot of things to uh, discuss and finalize. All right, so uh, what I've put on the screen here would be the bare bones plan or talking points okay, that you need to, to start with uh, in order to consider data migration. Right, so uh, one, two, three, four. There are seven main items here. This is not exhaustive, but it's meant to just uh, to give you uh, a rough idea of what you need to expect and what you need to discuss. Right, when you go into data migration. So uh, a, uh, how old is the data to be migrated? Okay, is it all data from the old system, or is it just you know some data uh, based on uh, the duration or the age of the data? Is it past few years? Is it past 10 years and so on? B, how will the, the data okay, be categorized based on uh, data governance policies? Perhaps your organization might have data governance policies. So uh, if you do have data governance policies, you would then need to um, uh, cl closely work with your data governance uh, department and officer uh, to see how your data from the old system to the new system will need to be categorized. right? C, is the data needed from all modules uh, from the old system or only from certain modules? Okay, so uh, this would actually be dependent upon the user requirements. So this is the reason why uh, you will need to consider both aspects when collecting requirements. You know, when you collect user requirements early on in the project, you will also need to have in mind uh, about the, migra the migrated data right? and how uh, this will cater to the user's uh, requirements as well. D, are you able to map the migrated data with the new user requirements? If not, what are the gaps and where can you get the data? Okay, so you cannot take it for granted that oh, automatically, uh, just because I migrate the, the old data to the new system, uh, it is actually covered. Uh, there might be some mismatch or there might be some gaps, okay, from the old system to the new system. So when that happens, you need to discuss with your team and also with the end users how you're going to address that. Okay. E, when should the data be migrated and what is the cutoff date? Uh, that means, when should the users stop using the old system? Okay, uh, uh, this is a very important milestone date. Okay, the cutoff date is a very important date because this would also be the date that you will share with the uh, stakeholders and the senior management okay, and the project steering committee. Right. F, finalize the data schema or structure based on the data migration requirements. So earlier on, I've already uh, uh, shared that 
why uh, these things are important is because uh, transferring the data from the old to the new system would inevitably involve uh, changes to the database schema or the structure, right? So uh, you will need to finalize the database schema and structure in order to make it easier for the software development team to do their work okay, without wondering whether the schema or the structure is the final version or not, right? And the last point here, uh, how much testing will be required based on the transfer of all data into the new system? Uh, and when will the testing be conducted in the project? Okay, normally user testing will be conducted in uh, in a UAT or user acceptance testing, but perhaps uh, there might be instances where you might need to test the, the batches of data that you transfer uh, separately as well. Okay, so these are the kind of things that you need to discuss. Okay. Um, there's one thing that I did not uh, include here, but it's equally important to discuss. How are you going to transfer the data? Is it uh, going to be one full load at, at one time, or is it going to be in batches? Okay, if, there's, if the data from the whole system is huge, it might not be wise to transfer all in one go, okay? because it might either take too long, or uh, if it's too complicated, uh, something might happen in the middle that will disrupt and, can, and cancel that transfer. Okay, so if you were to transfer in batches, then you will also need to decide uh, what's going to happen after transferring each batch and how you're going to test uh, the, the, the success of that transfer. All right, so again, uh, I hope that you find these uh, points and this video to be useful. All right, so I'll see you in the next video. All right, thank you very much.